Hey everyone, it's your girl Jacqueline. Also, I know what you're thinking. Please excuse my hair. I didn't even bother to change my t-shirt because I want today's video to be relaxing because as you can probably tell from the title that I'm going to tell you my night skincare routine. I ended up being kind of stressed out because I could not talk properly. For God's sake. <laughs> It's literally almost 2 p.m. right now and I'm doing night skincare routine but I don't have studio light so I have to use sunlight that's why I'm doing it right now but anyway if you don't know why I said that this is an updated skincare routine because I made a night skincare routine too like eight months ago and my skincare routine has pretty much changed now because my skin concern has changed too Back then, my skin concern was fungal acne, that's why I focused on fungal acne safe products. Well now, my focus are, the first one is to maintain healthy skin barrier. The second one is to brighten up my acne scars because I don't know whether you can see it or not. I have acne scars over here and a little bit over here. I'll show you later on. And the third one is hormonal acne. Sometimes I have to deal with them too because I'm a freaking teenager. My skin is normal to oily, so combination skin. So my T-zone is very oily, but other areas are normal. Also warning, what works for me might not work for you, and what works for you might not work for me too, because everyone has different skin. So as I said earlier, one of my main focus is to brighten up my acne scars, because I had a bunch of acne back then. But thankfully they are gone now, even though sometimes I still get hormonal acne, but I don't know whether you can see it or not, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, hormonal acne, Acne scars over here and also over here, as you can see, and over here too. Oh yeah, one more thing before we jump into the video, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It's Ajamafidon and feel free to follow my Instagram if you want to know more about me. And that's it for the intro and without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I always do is to tie up my hair and I'm using just regular scrunchie. Any hair tie or scrunchie works, just whatever you like. So next is to do double cleansing. If I wear makeup, I will use cleansing oil or cleansing balm. For cleansing balm, I have Vanilla Co Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm Original. And for cleansing oil, I have Kose Softimo Deep Cleansing Oil. If you wanted to know how I remove my makeup, you can click my how to remove your makeup properly video and you can click it over here. But since I'm only wearing sunscreen today, so I'm just gonna use micellar water instead. For micellar water, I'm using Water the Seaweed Cleansing Micellar Water. It has seaweed and cucumber extract. It has no alcohol, silicone, sulfate, and safe fungal acne. However, it tastes a little bit bitter, but it is very, very affordable. To apply the micellar water, I always use a cotton brown. This is the reusable one. And you can click the link in my description box if you want to buy any of the mentioned products that I will mention later on. And please keep in mind those are affiliate links. So I already wet the cotton brown and next I'm just gonna pour the micellar water and then gently swipe it on my face. I always avoid my lips because it tastes bitter, so that's why I remove the lipstick or lip balm or anything last. And there we go, as you can see, it removes pretty much everything, including the lip balm. And I'm going to rinse my face with water and then use facial wash next. For facial wash, I use the low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser by Cos RX. And I'm not going to show you how I use them because I already demonstrated in my how to remove your makeup properly video. If you want to know how, just watch that video after you watch this. Hi, I'm back and the lighting keeps on changing so I'm sorry if it's like very yellow and then not yellow, very yellow and then not yellow. 
blame the sunshine. Okay, so next is toner, and I have two toner. The first one is Hadalabo Gukyujun Ultimate Moisturizing Lotion. It has three types of hyaluronic acid, and it has no alcohol, perfume, silicone, sulfate, and safe fungal acne. It is also super, super affordable. And the other one is Impure Centellasiatica Face Toner. It also has no sulfate, alcohol, and silicone, and it has Centella Asiatica Extract, Niacinamide, BHA, Alantoin, Licorice, and it has Niacin. I also already reviewed most products that I'm going to use later on, so you can watch the review over here. And for today, I'm going to use the Ampure Central Asiatica instead of the Hadalabo, but there's literally no rules. I just use whichever I want to use. So yeah, I'm gonna use this for today. Also, I'm keeping leftover water on my face because I find that it helps to absorb the toner better into my skin. So I'm just gonna pour some on my hand then gently tap it onto my face mix it with the water don't forget your neck i also bring it to the back part of my neck too so after i distribute it on my face i'm just gonna press down onto my skin So toner is not really necessary in your skincare routine but I personally really really like toner because they add extra hydration, they also add extra nutrition and it makes my skin absorb skincare better. So next step is serum. I also have two serums. The first one is Something Niacinamide Plus Moisture Beat Serum. It has no sulfate, alcohol, silicone, it has minimal ingredients and safer fungal acne. It has 10% niacinamide and has beetroot extract. It can brighten up my face so it looks less dull and it can also brighten up my acne scars and it also strengthens my skin barrier. And the other serum is Scarlet Acne Serum. This is very, very great for acne, and it has tea tree leaf water, Jujusanthal Asiatica extract, vitamin C, salicylic acid, and licorice extract as their active ingredients. And this serum is very, very affordable. So sometimes I use both of them. If I don't have acne, then I'm just gonna use this one. But if I have hormonal acne, then I'm gonna layer it with this. So since today I have hormonal acne over here, I'm gonna use both of them, but I'm going to use the something first. So I'm just gonna pour about three drops onto my finger and then do this and then tap it onto my skin. This serum is hydrating and it has this thick, a little bit sticky texture, which honestly I don't mind because it's a serum and it will go away in several minutes especially after using moisturizer the stickiness will gone sometimes i also swipe it a little bit and put the leftover on my neck and like what i did to my toner i'm going to press down onto my skin so my skin can absorb the serum. I really really like this serum because my skin has improved so much because this serum. Niacinamide is truly a lifesaver for my skin, especially for my skin barrier. Next, I'm going to use the Scarlet Acne Serum. I'm just gonna use about one drop and then just apply it on my acne. And then I'm done. It's literally that easy. So yeah, I don't use this serum all over my face. I use it as a spot treatment. Now, while waiting for the serums to be absorbed by the skin, I'm going to use an eye cream. Actually, this is gel, so eye gel. And for the eye gel or eye cream, I'm using the Something Game Changer Tree Peptide Eye Concentrate Gel. It has caffeine, hyaluronic acid, and also aloe vera extract. It also has cooling ceramic applicator, which I really, really like. And I use this because the wrinkles under my eyes and for my dark circle if I don't have enough sleep, so to make it less worse. But then again, the best way to avoid dark circle is by having enough sleep. So I squeeze it out a little bit and then put it underneath my eyes over here, also over here. And sometimes I use the applicator because of the cooling effect, but sometimes I use my ring finger and I'm just gonna use my ring finger because why not? 
Once I'm done with the eye gel or eye cream, I'm going to move on to moisturizer. For moisturizer, I'm using the Sofi Derma Safe Soothe and Hydrate Day Moisturizer. It has gel texture, it has no alcohol, sulfate, nor fragrance. It has niacinamide, chamomile extract, and licorice extract, which are good to soothe your face. And this moisturizer is very, very lightweight, suitable for normal to oily combination skin or even oily skin. And this moisturizer obviously gives moisture and locked it. So sometimes people ask me like, hey, can I use aloe vera gel to substitute my moisturizer? My answer will be no, because moisturizer has its ability to lock in the moisture, while aloe vera gel don't really have that ability. So for moisturizer, I'm just gonna use about this much. So this much, and then I'm just gonna spread it with my finger, then put it on my face. I just put it like this first and then distribute it. And it's already absorbed by the skin, very, very quick. So usually I'm done with my skincare routine after I use moisturizer, but if I want to add extra hydration, then I'm going to use a sleeping mask. And for sleeping mask, I'm using the Lacoco Watermelon Glow Mask. It has watermelon extract, aloe vera extract, and also lactic acid, which is a form of HA, so it gently exfoliates the skin. So in the packaging, it says intensive moisture sleeping mask to leave the skin clear, radiant, and revitalized. For the skin clear, I don't know, but radiance, yes. My face glows after wearing this. And one more thing that I really like from this sleeping mask is it doesn't make my face feel greasy in the morning. I use about this much. And then dot, dot, dot. Oh, come on. Hello, sun. Anyway, dot. I'm just putting it everywhere and then spread it with my finger. Oh, I love the scent. It smells like banana. Yes, it smells like banana. I also like to put it underneath my eye too. Again, for extra hydration because I have wrinkles underneath my eyes and I'm 18 years... 17, 18? 17, almost 18. Oh wait, no, never mind. When I upload this, I'm already 18 years old. So I'm 18 by the time you watch this and I have wrinkles underneath my eyes because they are dry as Sahara. Why? Also, one more thing before I go to bed, I always use lip balm because I don't like dry chap lips. Like who wants that? In the next clip, you will see me becoming more stressed out because of the sun or clouds. Enjoy! Are you kidding me? Come back! Dear, Dear son, son, please, please come, come back. back. I really I need you. you. Please, please come, come back. back. I love I you. I hate you. So for lip balm, I'm using the Maybelline Baby Lips color and the shade Berry Crush. Back then, I used the Emina Lip Mask, but I finished it and then I found this lip balm, so I'm just gonna use this instead. And sometimes I also use the Pure Paw Paw Ointment. I'm just gonna use the Paw Paw Ointment, because why not? I only use a tiny bit of this because a little bit goes along the way, like only this much. So yeah, that's my normal skincare routine. I also have exfoliating time and I do that one until two times a week. And to exfoliate my skin, I always use Alpha Skin Miraculous Refining Toner. It has HA, BHA, PHA, also niacinamide, 2% tea tree, witch hazel, and aloe vera. So for the exfoliating day, I also do double cleansing as usual. And then I pat my skin dry and then I use the Alpha Skin Miraculous Refining Toner. Wait about 15 minutes and then use my hydrating toner, which is Hada Labo or N Pure. And then I follow up with moisturizer, so no serum. And sometimes I also use the Lococo Sleeping Mask to double the moisture. 
Okay, I'm officially done with my skincare routine and my skin feels super hydrated and it's also very glowy. I hope this video is entertaining for you and if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a brand new video. That's it and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye!